Okay, so let's integrate x cosine x dx. So when first looking at this, we could tell that this is going to be an integration by parts problem because we have two parts in this integral. We have x and cosine x. So doing something like u substitution wouldn't work because we don't have a function and its derivative within that integral. Um, so let's do integration by parts. So to do integration by parts, we must apply this formula, which is uv minus the integral of v du. And to figure out what uv du and dv is, we know that our integral must be in the form of u dv. So we have to assign what u and dv is based on our integral. And to assign those values, we typically use the acronym L-I-A-T-E, where L is logarithms, I is inverse trig functions, and then A is algebra, T is normal trig functions, and then E is exponentials. And this doesn't always work, and it fails for typically complex integrals, but in our case it works out, so we can use this. So, based on our acronym, u would be equal to x, therefore d would be equal to just dx, or 1dx, and then v would be equal to something, but we know that dv would be equal to cosine x dx, and the integral of cosine x dx to get v would be sine x. You could also think, what function gives me the derivative cosine x? Either way, we can plug this into our formula now. So u is equal to x times v, which is equal to sine x, minus the integral of v, which is sine x, times du. In this case, du is just dx, so I'll plug that in. And then this could be simplified as x sine x. The integral of sine x is going to be minus cosine x. And then don't forget your arbitrary constant, plus c. I'm going to rewrite this as x sine x plus cosine x plus c. And that is it.